Hello once again, amazing blue fans. So uh just keeps getting worse and worse. So uh let's just get into it. Today Michigan played Wisconsin at Wisconsin and wasn't good. I mean they had Wisconsin had a little bit of a chip on their shoulder because they lost last year and we pretty much shut down their quarterback. We pretty much shut them down this year also. But uh Let's just get into it, what happened. So, Michigan comes out. We come out, and both teams are just filling each other out. Then uh, we punt the ball in the first quarter, like halfway through the first quarter. And the coverage team laxed up because the ball dropped. The ball started rolling towards the punt returner, and he picks it up and basically takes it 50 yards for a touchdown. So then we go back and forth. We go back and forth a little bit with punts. Then Michigan gets to drive together and Brandon Peters fumbles in the red zone on a third. I think it was a third and goal. And he fumbles it and Wisconsin gets it. There was a play before where it looked like we scored, but they said, uh, Donovan Peoples-Jones' foot didn't come down. One of them was out of bounds. The other one was in. It was a real close play. But the next play, Brandon, they, they called it against us. Then the next play, Brandon Peters fumbles it out of bounds. I mean, not out of bounds, but to the, like, two-yard line. Wisconsin gets it. I mean, those we really needed those points. Some points would have been good, but we end up getting the field position because they end up having to punt, and we end up scoring – so the first half ends 7-7, and this is where all stats pretty much go out of the window, is second half, Brandon Peters gets hurt, and O'Corn comes in, and it's pretty much a wrap after that. Wisconsin scores a couple touchdowns, and it was basically over. So it's hard to talk about what we didn't do right because we know if we don't have a quarterback – we we can't do anything because we don't our running game we can't run it on good teams like we just can't their running back he he went for like a hundred and a hundred and twenty or thirty I want to say so he did what he usually does about on his average almost but it was just the game once Peters went out it was kind of like game over so O'Corn came in the offense got stagnant we couldn't do anything and. It was just game over. We couldn't throw the ball down the field like that. Because first half, Peters was – I hated that we had to go into halftime because Peters got on a roll. Like, he was making throws, making plays to get out the pocket and just make something out of nothing. And he was starting to get, get that leadership going and actually starting to look like a real starting quarterback for us. And then third quarter, late third quarter – he gets sacked, and well, he didn't get sacked. He threw the ball, and one of Wisconsin's linebackers drives Peter's shoulder into the ground, and he drives him into the ground, and he continues to drive him into the ground when he's on the ground. Like, it was a dirty play. Like, he, he knew what he was doing. He, he wanted to get him out of there. Like, I can't blame him. I mean, on, as, on defense, that's what you're supposed to do. You sack the quarterback, you're supposed to put your body on him, but the way he did it when he was still on the ground, he was still driving him. Like, it was just a dirty-looking play. Even the announcer said, like, they need to take that out of the game. But it is what it is. We just don't – I almost wanted them to take the red shirt off of McCaffrey. Put him in. Who cares at this point? Let's just see what we got. So we're basically back to the drawing board and – it's not looking good for next week. We're probably going to get blew out by Ohio State unless maybe Wilton Spate can play and just put on a show, which I doubt. I mean, the way Peters was looking, we had some of our other wide receivers back, so maybe Spate could maybe give us a chance. But if O'Corn, O'Corn plays, it's just going to be ugly because he, he, he just doesn't have it in our running – we can't run well on good teams unless we have a real passing game to open it up. So it's not looking good for next week. 
And it's just sad. Like, everything that – this has been one of the craziest seasons that we've had in a while as far as potential and then slowly losing the potential and just everything that can go wrong has went wrong. So – with all our wide receivers in all our wide receiver injuries, running back injuries, um, bad offensive line play, and just a rotation at quarterback, we can't keep a quarterback healthy. That Spate looked bad all year. Then O'Corn just can't get it, and then we finally put in the future, which is Brandon Peters, and he gets taken out when they actually start letting him throw downfield and we see what he can do. He gets injured. So this season has just been it's just been horrible for us with just bad luck and just it's just bad. I mean as a Michigan fan, it sucks because next year we were looking forward to Peters like he's we we want him to be the starter. He looks like the starter and the potential that we all knew he had. And then he gets hurt. So that sets him that the injury will set him back for next year. That's that's the bad thing. Like it would be one thing if he just got hurt, but the injury the, the injury that he looks like he may have, which it looks like it's probably a collarbone or something. Who knows when he'll be able to come back. So we may have to start McCaffrey or Malzone at quarterback next year. Who knows? And we haven't seen them at all. Well, we haven't seen McCaffrey at all. We've seen Malzone like sparingly. He really hasn't had to make any throws or all, at all. We haven't seen what he has. So it just kind of sets us. It's it puts us back at square one almost as far as a quarterback. Because next year we have plenty of receivers. Like that have been playing and they should be bigger, faster, stronger next year. Should be able, be able, to, be able to run better routes and everything. The O line is young, so they should be better. We got Ty. I mean, we have Higdon and uh, Chris Evans at running back. Like next year, we're gonna be loaded. Defense is all young, so most of them will be back except for like Maurice Hurst and uh, Brandon Watson. But besides that. Our defense will all be back. And like our only thing we'll be missing is a quarterback, a good quarterback. Cause who knows what's going on with Spate. At this point, we have to put our faith back in Spate because I don't know who knows how bad this injury is for for uh Brandon Peters. Hopefully it's not that bad. But if it is, we're gonna have to jump back on the Spate wagon. Or, I don't know, maybe McCaffrey is the real deal. I haven't seen him, so I can't say anything about it. But hopefully he is the real deal because it's not looking good right to, right now. I was I was just hoping to finish this season out and get and get our quarterback because I'm looking forward I'm looking forward to next year. Like that's all I'm looking for for the end of this year is to get our guys ready for next year because we we will be loaded next year. Like. Next year is a year where there's no excuses. The only excuse we'll have is if we don't have a quarterback. And so that's all I can really say today is it's just sad. Like, <laughs> it's just sad. Like, everything bad has gone, that can go bad, has gone bad for us this year. Like, it's just crazy. It's just, it's just a dumpster fire. Just It's just bad. But. Looking on the bright side, we will, we will have our defense back. We will have the receivers getting all this playing time and getting getting more experience under their belt. We've got our running backs, and they should be they should be beast the next year because Chris Evans he should be bigger, faster, stronger. Everybody needs to get better, but it, it just all falls back on the on the QB because I know the O line will be better next year because most of them, especially the whole right side, is young. So. It's just on the quarterback. We have to get a quarterback that is going to be there and is going to be our quarterback for years to come. But uh, that's all I got to say. It is what it is. I mean, we were in the game until Peters got hurt. Then it was just a wrap. It was just over. So we'll see how bad the injury is. I haven't got to look at anything and see 
what Harbaugh said about it or what. But, uh, yeah, it's not looking good for next week. So, uh, as always, like, share, subscribe to my page. And uh, I'll probably have another video coming out seeing about the injury on Brandon Peters and what we can expect for who may be starting at, at QB. Because I know Wilton Spate's been practicing, but I'm not sure if he's been doing full – if he's been doing contact practice practicing or if he's just been doing – some throwing with uh with uh the receivers or if he's been actually practicing full tilt so as always like share subscribe and uh go blue it's, it's been a tough year